Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to Hack Hand Bass. I want to take a few minutes and talk about some specific swim jig and chatterbait combinations that I like to use. I think it's helpful to uh, hear about what other people are using. That way you can get some ideas and apply it to your own fishing. Also, I'd love to hear about what you guys are using. So uh, let me know in the comments below what uh, specific trailers and colors and jigs you guys are, are pairing together. For a basic swim jig, I love to use the Strike King brand because they have a particular color that I love. It's the bluegill color. Now their jig is sometimes called the Tour Grade Jig. It might be called the Hack Attack Jig. It used to be called the KVD Swim Jig. But just look for that bluegill color. It's a great color. And what I do is I pair it with a net bait pack a chunk as a trailer, specifically the root beer pepper green color. That's a great combination. It's a very good bluegill imitator. I use it year round. I catch a lot of fish on it. So give that one a try. It works really well. Next up for chatterbaits, I typically just use the original Z-Mans. It seems to work great. But specifically what I'm looking for in a trailer is something like the Lake Fork Tackle Live Magic Shad. It's a soft plastic swim bait. I use a smaller version. I think it's about three and a half inches long. But it works really great on the back of a chatterbait. What you really want on the back of a chatterbait is something a little bit more subtle. Uh, because you want to let the blade on the chatterbait do most of the work as it vibrates and flashes. So that Live Magic Shad really does well as a sort of subtle trailer presentation and it works great on a lot of different chatterbaits. And last up is the California Swim Jig, which you guys know I use a lot of. I love to target big bass using a California Swim Jig. And I always seem to come back to one particular combination, that's the Dirty Jig Swim Jig paired with a Robo Worm Easy Shad trailer. Just a spectacular combo. I love Dirty Jig because of the color options. There's just so many colors to choose from. All of them work really well. I've tried several of them. Um, and also for the Easy Shad trailer, it's got the paddle tail and it really kicks quite a bit, which is what you really want with that California Swim Jig setup. You want the trailer to really kick and get that Swim Jig moving. My absolute favorite color combination is the crappie color swim jig and I pair it with a hologram shad color Robo Worm Easy Shad trailer. It's a spectacular combination. I've caught two personal best on that specific combo. Um, some other colors I've tried um, for the dirty jigs would be Alabama Brim, Bayou Bluegill, Citrus Shad. The great thing about dirty jigs is there's so many different colors. They're all really really good. So what you could do is experiment with the colors and figure out which one might be best for your particular body of water. But once again, I love that crappie color with the hologram shad. And also to recap once again, uh, for a basic swim jig, I love the Strike King bluegill color paired with the net bait pack a chunk and root beer pepper green. And for a chatterbait, I love to pair those with a Lake Fork Tackle Live Magic Shad, the three and a half inch version. Once again, guys, I'd love to hear about what you're using out there which colors are working, which uh, trailers work for you, which combos. I'd love to try them out for myself, so let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Also, please subscribe to Hack Cam Bass if you're interested in 100% bass fishing in Texas for big bass, all filmed from the first-person perspective.